Lefty combo with the speedy Minicus. It's a dangerous group. It's a chaos team that's won two in a row. And they go not only with a new guy between the pipes today, but a new guy at the stripe. Six on six, Max Adler draws the assignment against T.D. Erlin, the Redwoods faceoff man who's 55% this year. And we are underway on Sunday. I'm definitely looking forward to this, uh, this faceoff uh, you know, matchup here today. It's going uh, to be huge. It's going to be a uh, battle here. Both those guys tough as nails. Off the face-off win, though, Redwoods turn it over. Troy Ray on the table. Use his body momentum into the net to get that shot off. And Garnsey, after a spring that saw him as a coach of Notre Dame win the national championship, he, he has played so far this year. He can't miss. This guy's on fire. <laughs> he is. Think about the reps he's getting, Q, at Notre Dame, shooting on all of the goalkeepers. He shoots on a good one. Liam Entman, who's a rising senior, likely to be drafted high in the 2024 draft. It's the summer and now. Where was that shot invented? <laughs> in the backyard, uh, right? In the backyard, yeah. Like so many things? Where it all starts, yes. One of five brothers. And that's that's where it all starts, right? Absolutely. Right in the backyard. If you have some siblings, if not, you find some people in the neighborhood, some friends, some families. And that's the beauty of this game to me. It's a free-flowing, creative nature of it. Yeah, and you see that style being played a lot more on the dark. Keep it basic. Looked like a transition player in the NLL, Jeremy. Absolutely. There's 48 seconds between goals as Erlin wins another faceoff. Jeremy, have you faced off against TD enough to give us a little I, scouting I, report? I have watched that kid, you know, when he started out at Albany when I first heard that he was there. Um, and he was so quick and obviously getting to finally play against him in the indoor for the first time and obviously this past um, season um, oh, in San Diego for the World Games, he is incredibly good. He is so, you wouldn't think he is, this has the strength he has, but power. he has quickness and he has every, he has, uh, he has a full package, you know, along with, uh, you know, guys like Baptiste. Obviously, Baptiste is a guy of his own. Erlin with that, that wrestling background from Victor Nitz. Points in this first quarter, a goal and an assist. Here's TD Erlin back at the faceoff stripe against Max Adler. Erlin four for four in this first quarter. Make it five for five as he wins it cleanly back. There you go. Whistle ready, so fast with that top hand. Absolutely. And then his balance. He's got all, all you faceoff guys have, have and, you're, and you're known for your balance. Perimeter. Yeah, the Redwoods with three assists on their four goals so far. But Rob Pinnell, a time and room shooter. Flag comes in, big scrum after the faceoff. Adler flips it over his head, and that'll lead to a whistle and a penalty against the Woods. Redwoods, six, 30 second technical hold. It goes against Erlen. Chaos to the power play. A little bit of a hook. Matt Palem, head official, showing no rust, coming off a, a, a two-week PLL break. Told me yesterday in doing both games that he ran more than eight miles. He can't miss. Which is 56%. Uh, we got Rustle in here, giving a thumbs up. Not bad, Q. Again, a battle. Nakai Montgomery flicks it to a teammate. And John Sexton from the wing carries in for the Redwoods. Shot clock down to 25 as they make some. You can keep it in that right-handed shovel shot. Seems like we're seeing more and more pros keep it in their strength. Yeah, 100%. Um, definitely. Anytime you can, um, you know, have Dale's little um, maneuvers and uh, be able to make those shots off is always a beneficial factor in your putting into your game. Dane is down on the field with Ryan Smith. Ryan, what's working for you guys on the offensive end? You're starting to get some flow in there. Yeah, we're just trying to play faster right now. Started off real slow, so we just got to pick up the pace. What did you see on that goal there? Um, they kind of lost me and Chase in the middle, and my guy went to Chase. So great left by Minnow to me in the middle. Thanks for the time. Thank you. And others. Well, I mean, credit them. Pinnell may obviously scored a great goal on that backhand. Uh, we switched the matchup. We moved Johnny up top, and we put uh, you know Newman over there on Rob Pinnell. And, uh, you know, the other goal that Garnsey scored was obviously a power play goal. And credit them. Bertrand makes a good pass. Ryder took a nice shot. You know, I think we're fine. I just think we got to play a little bit harder and, uh, and start, start to leverage Brian Minikis at X a little bit more than we did in the first quarter. You get to see the, the, the impact that Jules Henningberg can have on this game. Absolutely. 
Having him running midfield is such an advantage for this Redwoods team. When you say hot man, what do you mean by that? Uh, the double team man, the, 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 the slide man, the, the, the defender who's uh, most immediately going to help the matchup. Let's go back down to Dana with Nat St. Laurent. Nat, how lucky are you to have a guy like Ryder Garnsey and Jules there on that? I was looking at a lot of this uh, Redwoods um, age group here, and he's one of the oldest guys here, and he's obviously playing like he's right in the middle of the pack there. And I heard from his teammates, JT, and they said he's so approachable. Even in his 11th year as a pro, guys like T.D. Aaron watched him play at Cornell, and now they get to share the same field as him. So pretty surreal. Absolutely. Whenever you can get a guy that uh, you know, has an incredible career. Scored by number 35, Ryan Kennedy. Nat St. Laurent took it off the field. They're going to tuck that away for him to take away as a souvenir. <laughs> First professional goal for Ryan Kennedy. Nat St. Laurent has loved what he's brought to this Redwoods team. I love that. Anytime you get little small accomplishments, you definitely appreciate it as a player and that's right your career. Uh, timeout. Use it or lose it. And as Andy Towers calls for it. And we will step aside. Chaos searching for answers. AT in the huddle with his team. They have brought the juice, bouncing back from that 18 to 11 loss to their rival Whip Snakes. Is Isaiah Davis Allen taking the face off for Redwoods as Chaos starts on the power play for almost a minute. Great. Remember early Aaron is trying to get the goalie to get down, but you know, obviously beating him like that's come um, in a situation shot like that's gonna put him up high. It's been a nice little stretch for Dane Smith lately. Won an NLL championship with Buffalo. Engaged, who's now fiance Kara, building a home in Buffalo. Those two together. A flag flies in after Adler won the faceoff, so Chaos should start the third quarter on the oh, dang, power play. Yeah, people make my calls a lot. Come on. <laughs> Falls on Redwoods, number six, 30-second tactic, or excuse me, one-minute trip. One-minute trip. Yeah, obviously having a situation with the chaos, you know, obviously he comes out with the fa face off Adler and then gets tripped up there. Shot from distance now with a screen or deflection. Time, right? Backhander around the world, I think that's it. You, you're obviously given uh, what you have, the situation. As you see that connection there with Cloutier to, uh, to burn. Those bandit guys are pretty tight. They are. They, uh, I know a few years back they had an uh, apartment together. They all stayed there. Fluche, Byrne, Dane. They hold the Well, stop left. Side left. But there were some noise complaints from the neighbors. To me, obviously, with the connection with these guys and uh, you know the moves that they put in, in in the backyard or wherever it comes, you know, in their apartments is definitely um, you know no surprise to me when it comes to Dane um, trying to make something happen. Uh, and obviously him having that connection with McKay in the indoor game. That was nifty. The great players learn the game in the backyard with their brothers, in the streets with their friends. And then they're given structure and discipline and kind of learn the rules. Due in large part to Austin Cout, who's on the field with Dana. All right, we'll check it with. Take that shot off, get it off. A little worm burner, as you mentioned. Ends a 21 minute, 44 second drought for the Redwoods after their hot start. Erlin and Adler both hit the deck on the face off. And CJ Costabil comes away with it for the chaos, and they'll call timeout. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. Redwoods back out in front. Hot. And Absolutely. so if that yep. if Jules drives lefty as he did, you move away from him. Opposite side. That's correct. And yeah, as you could see earlier in that play, uh, Pennell, you know, kind of asking for the slow and realizing recognition on that is the start of all that. That veteran leadership. Redwoods ball after the faceoff violation. Redwoods have now scored on their last two shots after they missed the previous 19. 
And that's what you're, if you're on one team, you're considered a man when you have a child, and the rest of the team is out. And so there's about could be 100 people out in the field, and it's really um, in and out and throughout those aspects. CJ Costabile taking the face off for Chaos. Erlin wins it for Redwoods. What are those games like, Jeremy? How, how physical is it? They are very intense. Obviously, the wooden lacrosse sticks, um, you know, you have can get hurt. And it's all about the mentality of your character and how you show your response. If you get hit, yeah. But the goal's big. It's six foot yeah, by six, six, foot. six foot. It's 36 square feet. And so you got to move that body and hope to catch things with the knees, the shoulders, the elbows. What's impressed me, Q, with Kelly in the last two games is his ability to make those clean saves. And he's really that first pass in transition for the Redwoods offense when he can get that clean save. No bobbles. That's a big deal. To your shots and the temp shots that you take and the shots that you make obviously makes it hard for um, for that to defend or to, um, to scout. Miles, uh, two-time midfielder of the year at Duke University, Long Island product out of Walt Whitman High School. He's 30 now, living in Destin, Florida where I'm striking for his opponents. Jeremy, I love when we have a mic on your brother Lyle when he's playing in the PLL and <laughs> he's getting bumped and bruised and everyone's giving him their best check and he doesn't say anything, right? Because that's not what the game is about. <laughs> that, exactly, and that's uh, the way we were kind of viewed. I might be a little different, but Lyle, um, you know, him being the youngest has um, you know, turned out quite good. Obviously with the time factor, you can kind of see that, you know, it's coming a little late for the chaos offense. Yeah, you play this out, though. What is it? Three three minutes to go. It's a four-goal differential with a two-point goal. You never know. And then goal differential is big in this league. So you got to play out each game. Absolutely. I'm they're still in the hunt here. They're, 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 not, they're not toast yet. Another foul of uh, being on field and just giving the team an overall percentage of uh, coming out with a W. And the same goes at the high school level. I love watching oh. guys from like Lafayette High School in New York. Yeah. Remember Matt Abbott who played at Syracuse. He played at a small school. He did everything oh at the high God. school level. He was incredible. There's value to that at the high school level of playing multiple positions. And I think that's where the sport's going to nowadays. Obviously, you see at the international level with us, with the Northern and Southern Nationals, um, a lot of the club systems are getting guys that can be very versatile, you know, play midfield, play attack, be a ground ball machine, passing, catching. Zed Williams was playing with a pole in San Diego. One yeah. stick, right? Yeah, I mean, 